my beautiful sweets. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day, afternoon, evening, whatever time you're watching this video. Welcome back to my channel, Sweet Sadie J TV. Thank you so very, very much for all the love and support you show my channel. <clears throat> Excuse me. I see my channel growing and I'm so excited about it. Tonight, I would like to share with you a small little Dollar Tree haul, mostly food again. Yeah, we got a lot of repurchases, but my special, special share tonight is some Love Overboard mail. So I hope you guys don't mind me sharing it with you. I was totally blown away, and I will make sure I put the person that sent me this mail in the video somewhere. Okay, so... Um, I tried some new lippy tonight and I look like my older sister with the red. Um, I found another one of these, um, L'Oreal Paris, uh, what do they call them? Like the purple one that I hauled and I was wearing and loving. I found a red one. So that's what I'm wearing tonight. The L'Oreal, the L'Oreal Paris. I believe it has a name. Uh, it says rose something. Let me put my glasses on real quick. I didn't think I was going to need my glasses today. So, <laughs> but y'all know when you get old, this is lip color. It just says rouge. So it's not actually saying a name, but it's very, very pretty. It's just like that purple one. Loving, loving, loving this. And of course got to have a little lip gloss when you wear matte lipstick. So I'm using my LA Colors um, Crystal Lip Gloss. I absolutely love this. I might go back and get some more. It's not sticky. It's not tacky. You can wear it over lipstick or you could just wear it as is. <clears throat> Before I came on to film my video, I just had this on all day long. And you know, that diamond, <laughs> that top is what drew me in. Cause I keep saying I'm not really a LA Colors fan, but I really did like this product. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump right into this small little haul and share of some friend mail. Okay, my sweets, I received this big box. I told my girl Paula that I was sending her something. And before I could even get hers out, I still have not sent hers out. Hers will be going out next week when I get paid. But before I could even send hers out, hers out, she sent me something, okay? And I'm telling you, this just absolutely blew me away. I'm going to share her channel with you in the video. But at first she said, um, she sent me a card that just says, Hi, Sweet Sadie. Okay, <laughs> and I love, love, love it. It has a cross on it. So beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. It is expressions from Hallmark. Okay, and let me see if I can read this out loud. <laughs> oh my God, you did right. You did right, Paula absolutely blew me away. My birthday is Friday and I wanted to save this to open it up with my um, birthday gifts that I've received so far, but I just couldn't. I had to put this up because it wasn't meant to be a birthday gift. So it says, hi Sadie, I saw this mug and I thought of you. I was looking for something <laughs> gnomish, <laughs> laugh out loud, but I thought the bee was good too. Thank you for supporting my channel and for your wonderful YouTube videos. I always enjoy watching your channel. I hope you like the mug. Have a wonderfully blessed day, my sweet friend. XOXO heart. Sincerely, Paula. Oh my God, Paula. What's that song? Paula? <laughs> I was blown away. All right. All right. I'm going to stop saying that and I'm just going to show you what she sent me, okay? I felt so bad because I still hadn't gotten her package out yet, but I think she's going to be happy with what I sent her. Okay, so I'm going to start. She did warn me that one of the items she sent me, she saw me haul on my channel, which was the little bunny spatulas. So I did get these already, but honey, I don't mind having another set, the pink and the teal ones. The green, the teal one says Cottontail Farms carrots, chocolates, eggs, and the pink one says, Happy Easter. So, <laughs> she sent me those. 
Thank you, Paula. Thank you. Thank you so much. And she sent me one of my favorite, favorite diamond pens in the purple. <laughs> Y'all know I love these pens. When I find them, I purchase a whole handful of them so I can send them out in friend mail. Y'all know my last pens that I sent out to most of all of you were the pineapple pens. Okay. Then she sent me... <laughs> Oh my God, I love my prayer cards, Paula. <laughs> this is pleasant words are as honeycomb, sweet to the soul, Proverbs 16, 24. This is so pretty. I believe I've seen this and kind of overlooked it. It's kind of like the uh, honeycomb background. This is so gorgeous. I have a bee collab coming up in August. I hope you don't mind if I will you know, put some of the bee items that you sent me in that collab because basically all the bee stuff that I've hauled, you know, over the years will be in that collab. But this is beautiful and it has the yellow, it has the yellow page inside and it has scriptures on the bottom. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, Romans 3.23. So I don't know if you guys can see that. But this is the way it looks. This is beautiful, Paula. Thank you so much. So all of them have, I yeah, all of them have different scriptures on them. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Thank you so much, Paula. Oh, my God. You weren't supposed to do this until you got mine. <laughs> then she sent me a prayer card, today's prayer. And her and I both, well, a lot of us love these prayer cards. This one says, let your light shine before others, Matthew 5, 16. It's gorgeous. I just picked up a new pack of prayer cards today with the lemons on them, Paula. So that's so far. Y'all just hold on to your bootstraps. You haven't seen nothing yet. Okay, my sweets. I was so excited when I opened this box and saw this product. This is a product that I only see at the half channels okay as erica fuller from erica's dollar tree and halls and more would say the haves and the have nots okay and this is a etos or etos product this is a huge eight fluid ounce peach pineapple coconut souffle multicolored salt scrub oh my god i only see this on people's channels from california like Pretty and Flawed, um, Money Saving, Money Saving Megan. We do not get stuff like this, okay? We are the have-nots, okay? And if we get it, it'll be months later after it came out at everyone else's location, okay? <clears throat> but um, Paula sent me this, and it is sealed, but I still wanted to smell it. I'm so excited. You can't really smell it through the seal because, thank God, I like when they are sealed, you guys. So I'm not complaining about them being being sealed. But this is a souffle multicolored salt salt scrub. You can see the little scrub in here. Please forgive my nails. I just polished them Saturday night before church. Um, the Sally Hansen Insta Dry polish I absolutely love. So I I'm not gonna complain that it chips. But I do wash my hands a lot. My hands are always in the water. So I'm not going to complain. Because y'all know how much Sally Hansen products are at, if you go to this store. Anywho, I digress. Let's get back to this Etos or Etos. I love this. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Paula. I was so excited to see this. I can't wait to try it. And then she sent me this one. Um, a honey chamomile body scrub. And again, an eight fluid ounce. And it looks like this with the honey pot and the honeycomb, I mean, in the honey spoon. And I'm just like, oh my God. Directions say, apply a generous amount to dampen skin with fingertips. Use light circular motions to exfoliate feet and body. Rinse with lukewarm water. And I was just getting ready to say, I'm going to be using these on my feet, okay? Because I don't typically exfoliate, you know, my skin, but... I will be using these on my feet. So, and both of them say the same thing. Yep. So, etos or etos. <gasps> oh my God, I'm blown away. <laughs> and then she put me in a little bag of, <clears throat> excuse me, 
Starburst Jelly Beans. I don't know if I bought these or not, Paula, but thank you, thank you, thank you. I love jelly beans. I told y'all before, I love, love, love jelly beans. Their best buy date is 12-23, so you got a, almost a whole year to eat these. And y'all see, I got jelly beans all over the place. I just love them. So thank you, thank you, Paula. But this, this gift that I'm getting ready to show y'all right now, <clears throat> It took my breath away. It literally took my breath away. And no, it is not going into the B giveaway in August, okay? This is mine. Paula, I can't believe you sent me this. This is so beautiful. I feel like it's my birthday today. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, y'all know how I look. Y'all know how I love my bumblebees. And you know how I love the word blessed, right? what she sent me oh my god i have no idea where she got this but it's the honeycomb the bumblebee it says blessed and then there's a little bumblebee on the handle oh my lord i just had my cup of hot chocolate and i'm telling you microwave safe hand wash recommended good to know oh she got this from ross oh my god i haven't been to ross since i moved out of raleigh I mean, there's no Ross here in my little town, but you know, when I go down to Wake Forest and Raleigh, I'm Dollar Tree blinded. So I never stop off to go to the old stopping grounds where I used to go. And we have a Ross, a Marshalls, a TJ Maxx. All of them are like right in the same plaza. Paula, this is so beautiful. Oh my God. I'm in love. I'm all shook up. Mm -hmm. And look, it matches my shirt that I have on. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Paula. I absolutely, absolutely love this. Blessings on top of blessings on top of blessings. I am in love. Thank you so much. Okay, my sweets, thank you for letting me share this with you. I gotta be careful with my mug. She had it wrapped so perfectly. I had to literally saw through it, <laughs> but thank you. It did not even get a, a nick, nothing. All right, you guys, I know I held you up long enough with the Love Overboard mail. Again, thank you so much, Paula. I appreciate your kindness. That was just beautiful. But let's jump right into this Dollar Tree haul real quick so we don't hold you too long. Okay, my beautiful sweets. I'm still on that high from that mug, but we're going to jump right into this real quick. I have a few things from the beauty selection. I have a few non-food um, items. And then we're going to show you just the um, little food products I picked up. The first thing I found was the super, well, not I found, but the first thing I'm hauling is the super adhesive nail tabs. They're by New Color. You get 24 adhesive tabs. You get six different sizes. And it says no glue needed, easy to apply and remove, and they're water resistant. I haven't seen these in the Dollar Tree in I don't know when, you guys. They look like this. I showed them through the walkthrough yesterday when I found them, <clears throat> and I did get two packs of them just in case, you know, I needed them. The nails that I hauled recently, the Pretty Women and all the Kiss ones, they come with the glue, but just in case, I did go ahead and pick them up. The instructions are pretty simple. It says take a double-sided sticker of similar size to the nail and attach it to the nail. Apply nails and smooth them. Remove the transparent film from the top. Place the fake nails on top and press firmly for 30 seconds. So pretty simple. We all know how to use those, right? Very, 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 they're like those little glue dots that come on your dishes when you, when they put the tags on them. So they look like this. So yeah, I got two packs of those just in case I need them. And then I found another I know, I know. LA Colors Lip Duel. I do like the LA Colors Lip Duel, but I found one that looks like it's purple. It's the color that they're saying is Vibe, and you have the pink or fuchsia um, lip gloss, but it looks like this. It just says New Look, right? And then it looks like that purple. You see the lips right there? And I was like, ooh, that looks like purple. And then it has like the fuchsia gloss. 
So I have to get that. Y'all know, purple, mm -hmm, I'm there. So I picked up that. And those were the only two things I picked up in the cosmetic aisle as I checked through here. And then I just cleaned my bathroom and I used up the last of my Cla the works classic clean toilet bowl cleaner cleans and deodorizes the toughest the toughest toilet bowl stains and you know I love this I've told you before this is a repurchase and it will continue to be a repurchase as long as the Dollar Tree carries it I think it's a great buy for a dollar twenty five it I don't know how long it lasts me you guys I don't mark the calendar when I start using it but it lasts me a nice amount of time. And even if it didn't, for $1.25, it's so easy to just go back and get another one. So when I used up the last of it the other day, when I cleaned the bathroom, I went to the Dollar Tree and got me another one. <clears throat> and then I found this, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know why my throat always says that. <clears throat> I found this Renews It Apple Spice Bliss. And y'all know Glade is my favorite. But... This thing smells so good. It smells like apple pie, literally. It says special edition, renews it, um, apple spice bliss, okay, gel air freshener, and it's a 7.0 um, ounce container. Y'all know how these look. I usually always get the lemon in the Glade, and I love my lemon, but when I saw this, I had to get it, and if only we had smell-o-vision, look at that, the cinnamon and the apples. I'm just like, oh my God, you can smell it right through the package. And it just says special edition. So I don't know. I guess that's just, I don't know, should have came out in the fall or something. But I got it because when I sniffed it in that store, I was like, oh yeah, you come in home with me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. So this was in the thumbnail and I'm just going to go ahead and show this now. I usually show the thumbnail at the end of the video, but let's step outside the box tonight. Okay. This was what I was talking to you guys about earlier in a few of my other hauls. If you hear the noise, I have my door open. Um, this is the Angel of Mine Mini Silicone Popsicle Mold. I was looking for this because when I was looking for the original size popsicle molds, I could not find them, okay? But as soon as I found this at my local Dollar Tree, which looks like this, this is the Angel of Mine Little Mini Popsicle Mold, and... I was like excited that my store had it, okay? I was like, oh, I'm going to take my orange juice and, you know, make a few little small mini um, popsicles because I hadn't been able to find the original, which they have every year. And, of course, I go down to Wake Forest, and what's one of the first things I see is <laughs> the ice pop makers, <laughs> the bonus buy. And I got the bonus buy because they usually come in the four-pack, but you got six in here. You get different colors, the green, the red, the blue, two blues, and two of the greens. So I was thrilled to find these. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe they are by, they just said Frozen Fun for Everyone, and they are a Green Bright product. So I got these, and I'm just going to take these back and exchange them for something else because you don't need both of these. So this is what I was originally looking for and I couldn't find it. And then I saw these on someone else's channel. I think it was Pretty and Flawed's channel. And so I was looking for these because I thought they were really cute, but they're more for the babies, you know. So anyway, I got those and I'm excited to wash those out and pour my orange juice in it. It's not a need, you know. I freeze my orange juice in the original container and it's just fine. But, you know, just want to play around a little bit, you know. Okay, my sweets. Um, most of this, well, some of this stuff is um, repurchased. They came out, they brought these back out at the Dollar Tree. I opened this one because I got hungry on the way home. Um, this does. This is best before May 1st, 2023. And these are the El Sabrosos um, Baja Limon Bold Flavor Spicy Chili and Lime. And I love these when they had these, when they brought them out the first time. I absolutely love them. It's not quite a Dorito, but it's pretty good. These are the spicier ones. And they're in the... Um, Dorito shape, but you eat these with some sour cream or some salsa and they are delicious I ate them by themselves on the way home because I got hungry y'all But yeah, I was it was nice to see that they had come back out with these so that one is open 
because I basically just grabbed the first one near me. And then they have the other one, the um, Elsa Brasso um, Original Salasista Spicy Salsa. And these are in the round, the little round chip chips. So they look like this. And these are good, but they're not, I don't know. It's a different taste because these are milder, okay? So um, their Best Buy is October 18th, 2023, and they are five-ounce bags of chips. So, yeah, I got those because it was nice to see them again. And I told you guys my sister was looking for, um, she wanted animal crackers a few days ago, and I found the box with the little snack packs in them. But when I went to this store, I found the bag. They had them in the original, they had them in the chocolate, and they had them in the ice um, animal crackers. So I just picked her up another bag of these. I eat these too when I get a little sweet tooth. Um, their Best Buy is September 30th, 2023, and you're getting an 8-ounce bag of animal crackers. So and these are Stouffer's, not Stouffer's, but Stouffer's. Stoofers, it's a U in there. <laughs> so, not to be, you know, mistaken for Stoofers, but yeah, it says low fat, zero trans fat, um, OMG cholesterol. Well, I guess that means zero, sorry, zero cholesterol, 13 crackers, only 100 calories. So, you can eat 13 of these for only 100 calories. Not bad. I'll take that. Okay. And of course, y'all know I finally found some more of my Uts. And every time I see them, I'm down to one bag now instead of two bags because, yeah, I'm truly overdoing it and I could just feel myself, you know, putting back on weight and I'm staying away from the scale because I don't even want to see it. But anywho, I did get another bag of my Uts, honey barbecue potato chips. The Best Buy is May 29th, 2023. So, yeah, those are my little noshers. And coming up in the last part of this haul is uh, just a few more food items and one drink. Okay. okay, my sweets. I showed you guys three packages of the name brand Chicken of the Sea tuna that I had found. And I finally found one of the newer, I think these are newer, Bumblebee. This is 16 grams of protein, no draining required. Bumblebee, be well for life. This is wild-caught light tuna in water. It says omega-3s, contains 150 milligrams of DHA, whatever, omega-3s, and it's a 2.5 ounce, and I love me some bumblebee tuna. I was raised on bumblebee tuna, and I love it. So I saw that, and I grabbed it, and I don't know if I checked the Best Buy. Uh, let me see. I hope it's not in the package because if it is, I'm not going to be able to see it. Um, not see. Oh, there it is right there. Um, October 2025. So I got that. It's very healthy. It's in the water. So great for topping your salads or just making a tuna sandwich or just having some tuna and crackers. Anything. You do what you want. But yeah, I just got one. Because I think there's another one out there that I'm looking for, but I haven't found it yet. Now, speaking of not so healthy, <laughs> I got my last box in this particular store of the creamy egg-shaped mints in dark chocolate, the Junior Mint Eggs. And I had been seeing these a while, and I just kept passing them by, but I love me some Junior Mints, y'all. That's, yeah, what's, no surprise there, right? And their expiration date is... November 20th of 2023. So, again, something just to, you know, nosh on. Don't go to the movies anymore, so I can't blame it on that. But, yeah, I found the last box in the store in Wake Forest that was that I was at. I'm sure they'll restock it. I've seen it at other stores. And then I saw these Har Haribo Happy Cherries. And I don't remember ever seeing these. They don't say new, but I did open them and try them. And they weren't bad. They weren't that sweet, which I actually liked. But they were a little on the chewy side. You get a four-ounce bag of Haribo cherries. Okay, the Best Buy is first January 1st of 2024. And I did open these just to taste them because I was curious as to how they would taste. They looked really good. 
but this is what they look like little cherries and the only thing that it's not a deal breaker for me is that they're really chewy okay but they're not that sweet at all and you know yeah i can i can i can uh you know power through that so i like the fact that they weren't that sweet so i got those and then i found these this is the cherry gummies i think this is what Lori was showing me in the um in my video when my subscriber Lori came to visit me. I'm not really sure if this is the same one, but it says cherry gummies, artificially flavored, made with fruit juice, and it has the panda on on the front, and it's a green briar product. So I've, I've never really paid attention to these. So they look like this, and they, again, they have the cherries in them. Best Buy day is March, 2024. So they look like this, and you really, really have to look in there. I believe this is what she was showing me, and I found this down at the Wake Forest store. So I got a pack of those. I like gummies. What can I say? And the last two items in this haul for today is I finally found the non-dairy creamer Sweet Cafe French Vanilla 8-ounce container. You sh I showed you the Ferrelli's French Vanilla Creamer that I found. And these have long shelf lives. This one, not as much as the Ferrelli, but I will use this one first because in my stores, all they had was the hazelnut and I don't like the hazelnut. So I found that and I got it. French vanilla is my jam. Okay. My coffee, my creamer, the whole nine yards. Y'all know by now my Aldi's creamer, <laughs> French vanilla. And so, yeah, it's a non-dairy creamer, but the, unfortunately it, is used best used by 12 16 2023 you still got almost to the end well you got to the end of the year but you know this will be fine until you open it so as long as you don't open it this creamer will just be fine past that date just in case you wanted to know so yeah i did grab that and the last item in this haul today is i decided to try one of these hemp waters, I believe I tried these hemp waters before when they first came out and I wasn't a fan, but I usually have to give myself time to try things. Sometimes I don't give myself a try, I mean a fair chance. So anywho, they brought the coconut hemp waters in and I love anything coconut. This just says zero calories, sweeteners, water infused with coconut essence and other natural flavors. And it is 16 fluid ounce. And just to mix up the tonic water, you know, I just said, let me just grab this. It's expiration or Best Buy is June 1st, 2024. So it just looks like this. And I chose the coconut just to try it <clears throat> because I don't really get into all those energized and sparkling waters and stuff like that because I drink tonic water so it's pretty much the same and I can get a one liter bottle of tonic water from Food Lion for 92 cents so yeah but for $1.25 with something that says coconut in it I said I would give it a whirl pull the trigger and we'll try it I'm sure I'm gonna like it but that is it for today I hope you guys enjoyed watching love peace and happiness sweet Sadie J coming back at you remember guys be kind to each other the world is big enough for us all. Paula, Paula, Paula. All I'm going to say is Paula. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am so enamored with your generosity. But y'all have a blessed day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.